Good morning, it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at CowSwap, which is built on the Gnosis protocol. CowSwap? Is that just another animal-based meme? Well, there's a little bit more going on here, and it can protect you from MEV sandwich attacks. It's all about the coincidence of once. And we'll get into that straight after these messages from our sponsors. In 2021, Ethereum traders lost over $200 million to malicious bots exploiting their trades. As DeFi continues to gain popularity, this number is expected to rise. Eden Rocket RPC is a next-generation private transaction service for Ethereum providing traders with MEV protection by submitting transactions directly to miners and away from the prying eyes of harmful bots. Using Eden Network for Ethereum transactions results in better and safer trades. Now, while MEV protection doesn't require any stake, traders who do stake the Eden token and use the Eden RPC on MetaMask receive transaction block priority. And now with the release of Staker Extractable Value, or SEV, they are paid for every trade they make on Ethereum. Eden Rocket RPC compiles some of Ethereum's fastest private transaction networks, resulting in a 90% plus effective hash rate. And this makes Eden Rocket RPC the fastest private transaction network available, protecting you from bots. On top of that, Eden Rocket RPC users are paid to trade on Ethereum. Join the best and get started with Eden Network today and trade safer. The NFT landscape is rapidly evolving. It's moving away from static JPEGs and toward real utility. Creators are looking for a solution that will help them to more deeply engage with and grow their communities. Galaxis sits on the cutting edge of this next evolution by allowing users to deploy a supercharged NFT collection that includes dynamic utility traits. These traits can be used by anyone with a following to offer exclusive discounts, VIP access, digital and physical redeemables, and much more to their audience. With the Galaxis Launchpad, users will be able to define smart contract parameters, choose their utility traits and pre-sale options, launch a website and community space, and deploy their NFT collection for sale with no coding required. For more information and to begin building your unstoppable community, visit galaxis.xyz. We left Earth and settled the cosmos. Our greatest accomplishment became our downfall. Our struggle for freedom would last nine decades. Warriors emerged and made the ultimate sacrifice. In the final battle at Miru 36, we achieved victory. But it would be centuries before we would know the cost. Learn our story. This is only the beginning. So if we're going to talk about CowSwap, we have to talk about Gnosis, which has been researching and developing decentralized trading protocols since 2017. As they say, bringing better ways to trade to Ethereum. What do they mean by better ways to trade? Well, trading, I mean, you can go on Binance and trade and you get very fast trades and there's a massive amount of liquidity, but we don't do that. We use decentralized exchanges because this is decentralized finance, DeFi. But there are just so many ways to mess up a trader's position. There's arbitrage bots, there's MEV bots. There's just a whole bunch of stuff going on down there in the dark forest. And what Gnosis is trying to do is figure out a way to protect users, that's you and me, from all of that. What they came up with was the Gnosis Protocol version 2, which leverages batch auctions to offer MEV protection, plus integration with liquidity sources across DEXs to provide traders with the best prices. What they mean here is that they call themselves a MetaDEX. Now, you might have heard of DEX aggregators like One Inch and Matcher. Well, this is the next level up. It's an aggregator of aggregators, a MetaDEX. And it, it looks like this. It looks exactly like Uniswap. It's the same basic idea, swap one token for another. But there's something strange going on here because when you swap one token for another, the signatures are happening off chain, which means that there's no gas to be paid. So these are gasless swaps for the most part. It doesn't always work like that, but that's the idea. Gasless swaps that protect you from MEV, from um, minor extractable value, from uh, bot attacks going on while you're trying to transact. And that means 
that it should be a safer, more secure way for you to try and get an exchange or a trade through, a fairer way to get a trade through. So in order to understand that, we have to go and have a look at the COW part of this, because the cow name isn't just a funky name just for the sake of it. No, there is actually an acronym here. It's the coincidence of once. In a traditional AMM, you've got just a ton of liquidity providers providing liquidity, and it's just randomized. You know, there's just a liquidity pool sitting there, and you can dip into that pool and execute the trade that you want. With the coincidence of once, basically the idea is this. There's somebody that wants something, and there's something that you have that they also want, and you can do the swap between you. That's picking out a specific person who happens to want the specific thing that you want to give them at the specific same time that you want something that they want. It's like going into a shop and saying, does anybody have uh, a Mars bar to sell me right now? And, and they say, yes, I do. And then you do a deal between you. Even though you're in the shop, you can do that and make that happen. And that is what they call the coincidence of once. And the reason that's effective is it's like a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. It's allowing one trader to trade with another directly without having to go into the AMM itself and dip into the liquidity pool. What's clever about CowSwap is it doesn't just do that. It also allows you to connect to traditional AMMs, and it also allows you to connect to uh, aggregators as well. So you can have all of that liquidity at your fingertips if you need it. Uh, but the whole idea is that it, this will be gas free. So you sign the trade message, which is submitted to CowSwap's off-chain service, and then it optimizes your trade's execution by considering the coincidence of once the best execution route among AMMs for the remaining amount, because obviously there's never going to be an exact lineup between the amount you want and everything else, but it's optimizing everything for the particular situation that you find yourself in. And then we have this minor extractable value. It's protecting you from that. Uh, and because these uh, prices are sourced off-chain and the signatures happen off-chain, that's how they're able to protect you from MEV because the bots can't find um, the transaction and get in there ahead of you. Pretty cool stuff, pretty clever stuff. Actually, if we want to go further, we can look in the, um, the FAQs for more information about this. So... CowSwap leverages batch auctions with uniform clearing prices for all trades in the same batch. And because of this uniform clearing price, there's no need for ordering the transactions within a single batch. And it's that ordering, it's transaction priority that incentivizes bots to push a transaction ahead. And then miners get more when uh, the transaction is paid more for to go through in that queue. And that's basically how that works. What else do we need to know here? Um, not a huge amount. This coincidence of once an economic phenomenon where two parties each hold an item and the other once, so they exchange these items directly. That should be pretty clear now. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get all of your trade through most of the time, but for small trades, you probably will do. If you're the smaller party in that transaction, then you will be able to do that. So a couple of things to, to bear in mind when you're trading on CowSwap. We may say gasless, but there are a few instances where you do have to pay gas. So here's how this might work. Let's say I want to trade for ETH and I want to trade it for DAI. Let's say I wanted to swap, I don't know, get 100 DAI out of that. In order to do that, I have to wrap the ETH first. So CowSwap can only interact with wrapped ETH. Now, I will allow you to wrap ETH for uh, wrapped ETH, and that's fine, and that can all happen here. But um, that is something to bear in mind if you're doing an ETH to another token transaction. That's because ETH is not an ERC-20 token. But everything else, that all works just fine. And the other thing is, let's say I wanted to swap Uni for DAI. I actually have some DAI here. Uh, then I'd have to allow CowSwap to use my DAI. So I have to pay a transaction fee to do that. Another thing to bear in mind here is there is a dark mode. Oh, look at that. And the cow now has laser eyes. Isn't that exciting? So that's basically it. That's how we use CowSwap. And I've been using this more and more um, as a matter of course now. They do have their own token, VCal. Um, I, that was an airdrop for those who've been using CowSwap earlier on. But more and more, I'm trying to move away from Uniswap and try to use DEXs that are just a little bit more interesting and a little bit cleverer because we do have a choice at the end of the day. So that's it for today. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, drop them in the comments below. I will see you on the next one. Until then, peace. Thank you.